Hello everybody, this is GC Snap, and today I'm going to go over the wonderful program called PodUtil. You're just going to want to do a search on Google for PodUtil, which is P-O-D-U-T-I-L, plain and simple, right there, one word, and give it a click. Once you get results, you'll see that you'll just use the first one right there, KettleNet software, really easy, just give it a click. On the top of the site, there is a software link. Just give it a click. Then in the middle of the page, there is a download now button. Give it a click. Now you're to the download page, and they should have both options for Macintosh and Windows operating systems. I personally have the Windows, so I'm going to choose that one. So just give it a click, whichever one. Then when the pop-up shows, click Save File and just have it download. Next thing you would do is install going through the next to next steps but I already have it so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Alright now that's gone you see the music rescue up ahead highlighted that's what you're gonna have once it's done installed. The next thing you do is hook up the iPod you want to take the music off of and then you'll get a message but don't hit any of the buttons cancel, erase, or transfer. While keeping iTunes open, next open Music Rescue, and while it's loading, just make sure you just leave it alone. Don't close iTunes, keep them both up even if it's slow. Once the program is open, you can see that it's clear and organized well, nice and easy to use, real simple. In the middle is all your music from your iPod. It's organized alphabetically so it's easy to find what you want. Everything that is checked is what you will download, so you want to uncheck anything you don't want. Uh, you can use the highlight tool to select things and uncheck or recheck things as you wish, or do individual checks so you can get exactly what you want. And on the left hand side of the program are a list of your playlists which you can use to find certain music. Once you've selected all your music, then go to the bottom of the page and click choose. Then just locate your music file, iTunes, iTunes Music, and then if you want to create a new folder so you can save all your music in there and keep it organized. It'll make it easier to add, trust me. After you've chosen where to save the files, go to the bottom right hand side of the program and click copy. Then at the bottom of the program you can watch the progress of your downloads, which as you can see is relatively fast okay and every as you notice every 50 songs you get a little message here and just click OK just get rid of it it'll continue on afterwards after it's all done downloading you can go back to iTunes and hit the cancel button on the message then about halfway down in iTunes on the left hand side you'll see the iPod button click the up arrow to eject the iPod. Now to add the files you downloaded, go to the top left of iTunes and click File. Then go down a little bit halfway and then go to Add Folder to Library. Then in the pop-up window locate My Music, then iTunes, iTunes Music, and then the folder you created. And you click OK. Now you're finished and all your music off the iPod it is now in your iTunes and ready for you to enjoy.
Let me go on. 